hey guys good evening how are you guys doing i hope you all are doing great um so today i'm not in the mood to dance i'm even not in the mood to do a video but i just had to i'll try my best to make it as short as possible if you cannot watch it to the end it's fine i want to show you guys how i'm going to moisturize my hair in a different method today because i have a different hairstyle so i washed my hair about let's say 10 days ago and this is what i did after washing my hair my hair is not always perfect this is how I, my hair always looks when i'm home so my hair is extremely dry right now this is just what i did it's dry it's been about 10 days i've not re-moisturized because i wasn't feeling good i've shown you guys how to re-moisturize and twist in different ways so i'm showing you guys a new method today because of the type of hairstyle i have okay to re-moisturize it i'm going to pass my hands through my hair so I'm, I'm definitely going to use this this is actually always involved because this activates the softness and the slipperiness of the hair so i always have to use this today i must use my leave-in conditioner because my leave-in conditioner is very slippery so i need to pass my hands through and then since my hair is extremely dry if it wasn't extremely dry i would have just used these three hairspray leave-in conditioner and oil but i'll add butter to it because my hair is extremely dry so i'm going to use hairspray leave-in conditioner butter and oil in this order okay that's how i'm going to use it so you see when i wash my hair actually i apply my leave-in conditioner with oil you can see it's still shiny but it's dry it feels dry see so to moisturize it this is what i'm going to do see it still looks good the day i washed it i just applied only leave-in conditioner and oil i was so not in the mood and you see it still looks good it's a little bit shiny no flakes as you can see as i said i always have to start with this because it activates everything see it has activated the leave-in conditioner which i applied on the day i washed it i see my hair is already slippery and my hands glides through so i'm going to remove any shaded hair which i've had within the past days see it's been 10 days then i'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner oh fuck shit very slippery that's why when you guys come to buy i give you all the products so that you have variety and know when to use them so leave-in conditioner is extremely slippery so you must use it when you're passing your hands through if you have done other hairstyles that do not need your hands to pass through the butter and the moisturizing hairspray and oil okay but if you're passing your hands through you must use the leave-in conditioner it's a must see just the leave-in conditioner and hairspray I'm passing my hands through to remove any shaded hair see just the leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner has been upgraded guys see then i'm going to use the butter i'll apply just a little i'm trying to remove shedded hair in case i have but it looks like my hair hasn't shedded because i'm trying but anyway if there's any i'll show you guys at the end when i'm done i've seen it later then or just see re-moisturizing my hair do you see how shiny it looks no flakes no flakes then i'm going to twist
have some shaded hair from this part remember our hair shades um 50 to 100 per day someone like me i always get a lot of shading but this is all i've gotten from this part then i'll go to the next part so now that i am done with my hair i'm going to apply my super hair good oil i'll show you guys my breakage soon my shaded hair not breakage because it's from shading i'm going to massage don't forget to focus on your edges if you do not have this is how i remoisturize my hair when i need to pass my hands through remember when it was twist i just had to pass my hand through the twist so i could not if i wanted i could use a leave-in conditioner but also i could not leave it use it if i didn't want because it, i already had the butter so now that i have done a style which i need to pass my hands through i definitely definitely need a leave-in conditioner because it is the most slippery that's why i made it very slippery okay remember this must always be included because this activates your hair and activates the old product which you have applied then now you have the choice of using either this or this depending on the hairstyle you have and then this must also be included because it has um anti-breakage for hair and it has hair growth properties for your scalp and anti-dandruff properties okay so all of them must always be included that's why i made the set for you people when you want to buy just come and get the set so that you have everything and you always use everything depending on the hairstyles you have so this is how i remoisturize my hair so i'll come back and show you guys how i'm going to style this hair as in when it's dry i'll come back and untwist it then style it for you guys to see the end result okay so this is my shaded hair this is my shaded hair for 10 days my hair breaks a lot not really that breaks my hair sheds a lot and again i have larger strands so when it sheds you will just see it looking so big because my strands you can actually you can count it this is one they are very large they are not tiny so this is my shed shedding for 10 days remember your hair sheds 50 to 100 per day so if you have such shedding for 10 days it's okay you don't need to be scared that's just how your own hair shed maybe i'm among those whose hair sheds within shed 100 per day maybe i don't know but this is my 10 days shedding okay there's a difference between shedding and breakage when your hair is breaking it shows it's breaking from let's say from here and it's and breaks that one it means you have a problem with your hair which you need to solve but if your hair sheds from the root like from the root it is okay and it is normal those are old hair that are like being shedded out which maybe you do not need they are already old they need to go okay so when your hair is breaking then you have a problem but if your hair is shedding not a lot like i said 50 to 100 per day if it's just 50 to 100 per day it's okay but if it's more than that you need to be worried and look for a solution okay so thank you all so much for watching bye